All right, well, BTC attempting to put in maybe some kind of a low for this double bottom and handle pattern, but not 100% certain yet. It'll probably take over this long U.S. weekend to really see that story. Speaking of which, I won't be back till Tuesday, so hope you guys have a good Monday as well as the upcoming weekend. Welcome to Altcoin Buzz Trading. I'm Randy. Today we're talking about uh, Ondo and Link as our hot coins of the day and going through BTC here. So let's get right to it. We got BTC with that uh, that swift move lower yesterday that we caught and we, we continue the action lower up until we hit this bottoming candle. You can see we try to go lower and close all the way cl to close to the top of the range, pretty close to the top of the range, pretty high volume right now, uh, but we haven't exceeded that yet. So we are essentially stuck within the range of this candle at this moment and uh, whichever way it breaks wins. So if we break to the bottom, you can look for ideally some kind of an undercut and rally candle, which is similar to this green one to this red one an undercut and rally is where you undercut a previous low and then rally back above it, implying that the res the um, the lack of support was false. Okay, so when support breaks, people typically sell. And if that support was false, those sellers will get bought up by the people supporting and rally it back on through. That's kind of what you see here on this particular candle. But if we go underneath this candle, you'll look for that again. And uh, there's no rule as to how many times that can happen. It, it can happen a lot before you finally get supported. And that, but that's what we're looking for because on the daily we see our double bottom with handle pattern right here and your double bottom is where this low undercuts this low in a macro time scale you get an interim high and that is your breakout point between those two lows and so that's what we're dealing with now and a nice rally here and a, a handle started to form on the lower volume than you know the the pop here so we're looking for that handle, maybe the bottom of the handle if you want to be aggressively trading this, uh, if you're familiar with these structures, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we'll see how it goes. But again, long US weekend uh, could mean a lot of a lot of problems for traders. Uh, not sure if we're going to go low volatility or not. It just depends the weekends. This year have been pretty good, actually, what we may. Um, there's been five or six good weekends with really good market moves in them. So I don't think weekends are as low and slow as they used to be. But uh, overall, they're still low and slow. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's take a look at our hot coins. Um, Ondo, which is one I have in my power hour. We had an alert here at the 104.221. Um, it's interesting to see this on the list today because it is only up 5% uh, from about 12, 11, 12, 13 hours ago, 14 hours ago. Um, but it's up 17% oh, over the past 24 hours. So very in interesting to see that up here. Uh, what, what I really liked about this is this cup and handle setup right there. You're definitely volatile. You have the ability to go up and come all the way back down. Um, but you know, holding up nice and tight here, we threw this alert and things are going pretty well with this. Uh, one flaw with this is the volume. It's not above average on this breakout. It did move above that 104.221, but we're not firmly above it. Uh, price percentage, we probably are because this is a very volatile token. You have 8%. So out of a buyable range, you usually don't want to buy out more than 5% from the buy point. And that's exactly, this is a very traditional buy point at the 104.221. So it's hard with this one to say definitively that uh, this is an all-go trade because the market isn't it's in an uptrend, but we're not in a rip roaring rally, right? And so uh, these situations can get thrown back, especially when your volume isn't as high. It's not, it didn't even get to average and average volume has been declining. So uh, looking for this to get more volume as we get more healthy and it's capable of that. I mean, it's, it's, it's had some pretty good volumes and even in relation, you know, it's low volume. So interesting, a low volume breakout on Ondo and then Chainlink, another one we also have been following tremendously. Uh, Chainlink rallied, or I should say started the rally way back here last year. Okay, moved earlier than a lot of other tokens. It was Chainlink and Solana for a number of weeks, if not a couple of months together. And then Chainlink just kind of stalled and really didn't do anything. But it's trying to come back a little bit here. It's starting this rally. If this rally gets going, Chainlink could be one of the leaders as it did rally up out of the low soon. But it's not holding near highs yet. You have other leaders such as you know, BTC, Ethereum, Solana, and BNB holding near highs where Chainlink is not. So you have the movement of Chainlink catching up with those leaders, but it's it's moving. So it's leading from that perspective. Volume is actually really good here as well. You can see we have a couple of weeks now, a week and a half now above average volume, which is really healthy. And bringing the shorter term time frame in here, uh, a little bit volatile in the short term here. So today you have very wide candles. See, these are nice and tight candles. You get these wide candles with 
elevated volume definitely implies some sort of distribution. And so a little bit worried up here with a name like Chainlink until you get much larger volume stepping in, then I think it'll be uh, much better. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you today. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys uh, stay safe out there. And um, with a long weekend, you know, market can play tricks. So just kind of manage that appropriately. Manage your risk. Take uh, take only the best trades that you see, not the ones that just come across your desk. You know what I mean? Take the best ones, the ones you've been waiting for and hunting for. Those are the best ones that will do the best for you. So, all right, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you Tuesday on Alcoin Best Trading.